This is a demo on the IDMAT app for sustainable material selection. We start with an introduction tour. This app contains 480 materials and 220 processes. This is a selection of the big IDMAT database used at Delft University of Technology. You will see bars at the selection screens. The length of the bar is proportional to the environmental burden of the material. There are three end-of-life scenarios. First, landfill. The extra burden of landfill is a d-bit added to the production phase. Secondly, municipal waste treatment. The extra burden of end-of-life might be a d-bit, for instance for oil-based plastics, or a credit for bio-based plastics. Thirdly, closing loop recycling in the circular economy. You will see nearly in all cases a big end-of-life credit. Now let's get started. You have to select your indicator first, either carbon footprint or eco costs. I will explain this issue. The advantage of carbon footprint is that it's easy to understand but it has the disadvantage of no materials depletion in it. Eco-costs have materials depletion in it, so it's better for calculations in the circular economy. Nevertheless, let's try carbon footprints first. And I will select the circular economy end of life scenario. You see the selection page of material and process categories now. There are metals, polymers, textiles, and really a lot of wood species per durability class. A durability class is related to the lifetime of wood on two conditions, wet and dry. In addition, you'll have building materials, electronics, processed for metals, plastics, textile, and wood. And you'll have energy and transport. Now we'll look at the details when you click on plastics. You can see that in carbon footprint there are only a few plastics with an upcycling credit at the end of life. The reason for this is that upcycling of plastics often requires a lot of energy. You see that PTT has such a credit. I will click on it. Now you see the details. PTT's main application is in textiles, and you can check out the details in eco costs as well as carbon footprint. First, we look at carbon footprint. You see the carbon footprint of production and the debits or credits for the end of life scenarios. Then we look at eco costs. You see the eco cost of research depletion, ecotoxicity, and human health, and the eco costs of carbon footprint. In this case, you see in the bar that the main components of eco costs in this case are research depletion in red and carbon footprint in green. There is a link to Wikipedia with information on the product, and you can check design information. Now you see a website here with physical properties. We have selected the best website we could find on the internet. If you like the material, you can store it in My Favorites and go back to the selection bars. I'll switch now to see the result in eco costs. You see that EcoCost differentiates much better for circular economy choices. Now another story. This app is for material selection, not for LCA. If you want to make an LCA, you may use the IDMAT Lite LCA app. This is the short instruction video 2 on the IDMAT Lite LCA app. 
Since the app is an extension of the IDMAT app, you should look at the first instruction video of the IDMAT app prior to this instruction video. So now we'll skip the explanation of the bars, the advantages and disadvantages of the eco costs versus carbon footprint, the three end of life scenarios, and we skip the use of my favorites in relation to the extensive Excel tables for detailed and complex LCAs. First, what you can and what you can't do with this app. You cannot make LCA of systems with byproducts, since that would make the app too complex. You cannot add the eco costs of used tox tables for foreground emissions, since these tables are too big for an app. You cannot handle complex end of life scenarios other than the three base cases. But what you can do is make cradle to grave as well as cradle to cradle analysis. You can benchmark the advantage of circular business concepts. You can benchmark the difference of innovative product designs. You can benchmark the difference in service systems. And last but not least, you can calculate the eco costs of an environmental product declaration, an EPD. This app is for designers, engineers, architects and business managers, since they are interested in quick results. And remember, the calculation results are not less accurate than full LCA calculations, since the tables which are used have been calculated with Simapro and the IDMED app LCA database of the Delft University of Technology. Well, let's get started. We start with the example of the first instruction video of the IDMED app. There, we had an example on a textile fabric blend, and instead of exporting data to Excel, we will now enter the production flow in our IDMAT Lite LCA app. In our app, we go to LCA projects and start a new LCA project. We fill in the project name and the description. In the description, we have the declared unit and information on the system which is studied, such as the system boundaries, the transport scenario and the energy scenario in the use phase. In our LCA input screen, we will add all required data lines for materials, processes, transport and energy by pressing the blue button, add extra data line. Then we add the quantities. Beware of the units, especially for transport and energy. You can delete data lines which are not needed by pressing the red cross. When we are ready, we press the calculate LCA or the save button and see the results in eco costs in yellow or carbon footprint in the green field. We can export the data via email pressing the button export using the standard email system of our smartphone. We can duplicate the data for a new LCA. This enables easy benchmarking of alternative products. Don't forget to give the project a new name. So far so good for the standard calculations. 